I want to talk to you about a few ways that you can manipulate images in Google Slides. We'll start here on my blog. This is minimatisse.blogspot.com and I have a virtual potluck that you can actually download. If you go to virtual potluck and then down at the bottom, you can click here to make a copy. It will force you to make a copy, click on the blue button, and then you'll have your own template that you can manipulate and change. And that's what we'll be doing today. Okay, on this template, what the first thing I'm going to do is just insert an image. So I'm going to go up here to images and upload from my computer because that is where I have the picture that I'm going to be using. I'm actually going to choose the same image that I have in the background of this slide. So you'll see it kind of pop over the top the image is down below. But let's say that you like what this background is, but you want to make it a little bit different colors. Maybe pink isn't your jam. This is how you can do this. Up here where it says formatting options, you can go down to recolor and this will allow you to recolor that back image or this front image. I'm sorry, the image that we just brought in. So I can change it to a lot of different tones and some tones are going to work wonderful for it. And some tones you're barely going to be able to see it. So you really have to play around and choose the best color that works for your image. Let's say it's this one. Now what I can do if I really like this and I want this for my actual background, I can go ahead to right click on it and oops, I'm sorry, we'll right click on it again and go down here to add to theme. So if I add to my master, it's going to change it for all of my slides, or I can just do the title slide, which I'm going to do right here. And there you go. You can see that it actually switched the background for the title slide up above. I'm going to add another image now, but this time I'm going to get it from off the web. So I did use the word transparent for a spoon search um, using the, uh, the letters PNG in, in this. So spoon PNG might give you a nice transparent background and sometimes it's going to work and sometimes it isn't. Um, let's hope that this one does. So I've selected this one. I'm going to insert it. And yes, indeed, it does have that clear background around it and my image can be seen. Now I can go ahead and adjust the size of this um, to the correct size that I'm hoping for. That looks pretty good. And I can even change the position of it by taking that little circle and moving that around as well. Okay. Let's say this is exactly where I want it. I can go ahead and do a couple of other things to make it fit into this background a little bit more. We're going to go to up to formatting options again. And instead of going to recolor, although we can recolor again. So let's just take a look and see what that would do. Mm, that's a little light. Try this. Oh, I like that. So now I have that orange. I'm going to keep it there, but I'm also going to add a drop shadow. A drop shadow is going to make it so that it has a little bit of a shadow underneath it. You can change the angle of that shadow. So when I do that, it made it go to the top of it rather than the bottom. I want it on the bottom. I can change the distance, how far away it is to my spoon. That's pretty far. Let's look at the angle there now. See how that changes the angle. I don't want this so far away because that makes it look like it's floating unless I'm trying to make it look like that. I want it about here, I suppose. And then I'm going to change the blur to when I change the blur that makes it so it's more blurry and therefore it may maybe makes it match the surrounding a little bit. The back or the drop shadow here is black but the rest of my picture is blue. So I'm going to find a blue to add in there and see if I can match that up a little bit better. Yeah, that's nice. I can change the transparency of this, of course, so that you can barely see it or so that you can see it really, really well. And that is just another tip of how to make images, uh, manipulate images in your Google slides. I have one more tip for you. Let's add one more image. I'm going to go up here to insert image and I'm going to the web and my search. I typed in 
orange pattern, orange pattern background, orange pattern wallpaper. All of these are good um, searches. I think I'm going to go with this one and insert it. And if I want to, I can crop my image, which means just make sure that the edges are a little bit different. They come in. But what I'm going to actually show you is this little triangle next to it that's called masking an image. So when you mask an image, you can choose any of the shapes that are available for you and you can change the mask, the change the look of this a little bit. So I'm going to change the shape here. You can manipulate that. And of course, as we learned before, you can change the rotation a little bit and let's make that a little shorter. So it's just pointing down here at my title. So I've showed you three different ways that you can go ahead and use um, Google images and really manipulate them to change them to become your own in a slideshow.